Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is fifth and final video of our Squid Server of our LZH Project Server Edition. And in this video, I'll show you how to make your Squid Server as a caching server. And it's pretty simple, but it's very, very powerful. And so let's start. It, it's going to be a quick video. Uh, so let's go to our Squid Server and IPADDR show will reveal it 192.168.1.2 okay so let's vim into squid.conf and at the very bottom of this file over here you can see that it says uncomment and adjust the following to add a disk cache directory. Oh, I just. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are just going to do what it says uncommented. So what this line says is cache directory UFS is a squid storage format. Vars pool squid is the directory where our cache is going to be. I'm just going to rename it to cache squid okay and you need to make sure that this directory exists because it's not going to be created automatically so we have to create it okay this hundred means how much big cache you are going to uh, create I just want to make uh, 200 megabytes of cache well uh, in bigger systems with the bigger capacity hard drives you can create as much uh, as you want but since it's a demo machine and I only have 8 GB of uh, hard drive, so I, it's 2 MB for demos enough. Okay, uh, 16 it means level 1 directory uh, and 256 means level 2 directories which are going to be created in these 16 directories. So every directory is going to have 256 directories. So it's pretty big, So, but you can adjust as per your requirement. But this is by default it's fine okay then uh, what we need to cache it comes here the refresh pattern and the refresh pattern says that uh, how long uh, the cache thing is going to stay in the cache and what is its uh, when it was last modified and what when it is considered uh, like its age has expired so if you look at the bottom when it where it's saying refresh pattern FTP 1440 uh, means one day 20 percent means uh, when it was uh, the percentage of mo uh, last modified and 10080 means um, when it's going to expire or go out from the cache so let's create something for ourselves uh, I can just copy paste the same thing but instead of FTP I'll just say let's uh, let's cache everything which has PDF zip and mp4s jpg uh, PDF, zip, mp4, flv and that's it. Uh, you can create as much as you want and we'll just close it and it's going to be same 14, 40 means one day, 20 percent, this is all fine and let's quit and we need to make sure that this directory exists slash var slash cache slash uh, slash squid so cd slash var slash cache exists but there's no squid so i'm just going to make directory squid here okay so at the moment if you go in this you'll see that it's empty so let me 
restart the service squid system ctl restart squid and soon this directory will be populated i think there's something wrong so let's see what's wrong with this tail slash f slash var log squid access.log it's not going to show here it should be in messages so it's saying that the enter the fail to start squid there's some issue with control process fail to make swap directories okay so there we have it it's saying that its permissions are denied so we need to make sure that it should be uh, what kind of permissions we have so let's see okay control c and i'm just going to give ls ld cache and at the moment it has user and group of root so i'm just going to change it change its ownership to squid and squid uh, we can sh check this as a user first cat etc pass wd grep squid and yes we have this user so i'm just going to change ownership john squid squid and with the hyphen r means recursive that everything under this directory will also get the same uh, ownership press enter and let's try to restart squid okay system ctl ctl restart squid and this time it started without any problem no errors now let's go into our cache directory and squid and here we are going to see the magic there we have it so it has created one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen directories and each directory will have 256 directories you can count them i don't want to count them okay so we have created our cache so at the moment let's go to our zero zero directory and you can see in zero zero there's zero zero there's nothing right now so let's browse something from our client machine and we'll see that if it gets populated or not okay so i'm into my client computer and let's try to click enter i hope that next time we'll press enter it's going to work really fast because of cache faster much faster okay okay so let's now go to some other site um, cnn.com let's go there i think it's it's not going to work so let me stop this okay let's go to some sourceforge.net okay browsing good uh, let's go to linuxworld.co browsing good okay what about bbc now you see it's working really good now okay so let's go back to our uh, server and see if that directory get populated or not okay i'm back to my server too 
and show IP ADDR. Oh, IP ADDR show will reveal it's 1.2. Okay, let's go to ETS um, var cache squid in first directory, then first directory of first directory. So here's the magic cache. So this means that our cache is working perfectly fine and you can try to download things and then you can uh, MP4 or, or FLV or zip files. And then from the same network, you try to download the same file for another client and you'll see significant difference. It's going to be really fast and uh, you'll be happy. Your internet browsing will be uh, good. So uh, anyway, this is how we end our uh, squid session and hope you guys have enjoyed it. And please do subscribe and I'm I'll be really happy if you could send me feedback comments that how I am doing uh, and that's it and hope to see you in next video and that's going to be I guess for backup or I think it's going to be Nginx with Varnish and uh, MariaDB with PHP so thank you very much for watching and you have a good one